guys and girls. Is it a lot? We've done it. It's it's uh, cult merch again. Um, like I said to you in my previous videos, you have to keep checking the website. The gaming box was out of stock for a little while. I went on there end of last week, and their gaming box was back in stock. So I bought one. Because, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for punishment. We have so many doormats, though, now. Because every time you order a cult merch box, you do get a doormat. And I've got to be honest with you. Well, there's not that many doors in this house, but there's a lot of mats. So, um, so anyway, so this is the gaming one. Um, cult merch is not a subscription company. Um, they are uh, They basically just put boxes together. Uh, in some way, shape, or form, and then put them on their website. There's Rick and Morty, there's Star Wars, there's uh, superheroes. We've had the superhero box. There's a, a general collection of stuff, which is the V2 box. They do a Beatles box. They do all sorts of stuff. They did a Harry Potter box, which we've done as well. So this is specifically the gamers box. I'm quite excited to see what's in this, in all fairness. My nose is really itchy today. So anyway, so this box is £20. It's free delivery from what I'm led to believe uh, or can remember. Um, and, pff, well, in previous cult merch boxes, I haven't done pricing at the end. And I'm not going to do pricing at the end because for 20 quid, and this mammoth of a box shows up. So, um, so I will be doing ups and downs, but I'm not going to be doing pricing at the end. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh. Ooh. Why, dab? Ooh. Usually we have, like, quite a lot of uh, paper on top. That's really good bubble wrap. Well, they spared no expense on that one. There's a lot of it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, and that's it. Right. Put my hand at the back. There we go. Ooh. Remember, this is the gamer's box. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is the, um, the, the tablet thing from Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Oh, my gosh. And it's apparently it's a drawing pad. Oh, that feels really nice as well. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's no good. Uh, some of the stickers has fell off. Okay, so it's lost a little bit of its stickiness, but that's amazing. Look at that. Wow. <whistles> oh, wow. It's... Oh, look at that. What's, uh, what's the paper? Oh, no, it has. It's dropped off. So you, it is a drawing pad, but that is stunning. Oh, no. For some reason, it probably just needs a little bit more sticky, but that's just falling off the front. But that just needs a little bit of super glue, and that's good as new. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. The feel of it is amazing. It's rubber. And the little details. I'm going to sneeze. We didn't sneeze. But yeah, the handle. For, oh my god, I need to move on. That is an up. Wow, wow, wow. That looks so good. Fair enough, a little bit fell off, but that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, okay, it's, uh, it's another writing. Well, that's a drawing pad. We now have uh, a notebook. And it's Zelda. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is metal as well. That the whole this whole piece here, the Triforce, is that's all metal. Look at the shiny. It's one of the best looking notepads I've ever seen in my life. That is gorgeous. And it's got little symbols. I don't know if you could see that. The little symbols. That is. That's gorgeous. That's another up. I know it's a drawing pad and a notebook, but my Christ. 
Ooh. Ooh. We've got a poster. Wow. Zelda. Do, do you know what? The best Zelda game, in my opinion, controversial, and I think a lot of you will agree, was Wind Waker for the GameCube. Best Zelda game ever. A lot of people will go, oh no, it's Majora's Mask. I played Majora's Mask, and I've, I've played every single Zelda to date, and the one that sticks in my mind the most, other than obviously the most recent one, is Wind Waker. Absolutely amazing. So if it says Nintendo. Let's see what we've got. It looks like, I was going to say, it looks like Super Mario. Whoop. That's Super Mario 3. It is Super Mario 3. Oh, what a guess. That, do you know what? I can't remember the last time. Oh, no. We've had artwork, but we've not really had posters. But my son's got some posters. I might replace some of this Fortnite stuff for this one. Because uh, as soon as I saw the yellow, I thought, this is Super Mario Brothers 3. And it was. Oh, by the way, best Super Mario game ever is number three. Change my mind. Don't, because uh, you'll never be able to do that. I'm too stubborn. Right, that's another app. Posters and app. Uh, is it another notepad? Paper Mario. What is that? I don't know what this is, but that is a very hefty piece of wood. It looks like wall art, but that is printed on wood. That's amazing. Paper Mario, I'm Origami King. I'm going to give you that so you can have a proper look at it. Wow, wow, wow. That is some real hefty artwork. Because the uh, uh, cult merch always say that you get uh, wall art and a doormat. So that must be the wall art. I thought the poster was the wall art, but this is actual wall art. That is printed on proper wood as well. Right. That's amazing. That's an up. Oh. oh. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Two are just... Oh, it's face coverings. Hey! We've got Pac-Man face masks. How appropriate for this day and age right now. I can't get them open. There we go. They look the same. They are. This is now my new face mask. That's it up. Love it. Oh my gosh. This box is amazing. It's proper, it's, it's not so much, like, well, yeah, it's a gaming box, but it's more retro gaming box. And do you know what? That that hits me somewhere special, that does. Everything that's come out is, like, my childhood. But in all fairness, it's not really awesome. Right, so we've got uh, a Mario mug. That looks like a placemat and a key ring. That's amazing. I'm going to leave that in the box for now because my battery looks like it's going to run out. So I'm going to get through the rest of this box before I get cut off. But that looks amazing. Mario, the little question mark, um, doodah and the key ring. That, that's amazing. And I say, my upbringing in computer games, console wise, was mainly Sega. Now, growing up as a kid, you were either bought up on Sega or you were bought up on Nintendo. So a lot of this stuff's Nintendo. So I didn't really get to experience many Nintendo games, such as uh, Super Mario and the Zeldas and stuff like that, until I got to university. And then what happened was um, I got the GameCube and then started to go back then through the consoles... Um, to play the original games because I was brought up on Sonic the Hedgehog and all the rest of it And then by the time I finished with Mega Drive I went straight into PlayStation for the PlayStation 1 and then you had Tekken and Tomb Raider and stuff like that So my appreciation of Nintendo started in my very very early 20s late teens uh, I wasn't bought up on Nintendo, but there we are, but Mega Drive So I had the Sonic, uh, Toe Jam and Earl, uh, Cool Spot, uh, that sort of stuff and Mortal Kombat was amazing. So, oh, it's another mug. Oh, okay. More Zelda stuff, though. Wow. That is stunning. That Look at that mug. Look at that mug. Zelda. Wow, there's a lot of Zelda. This, this is just 
absolutely what an amazing box that's enough we, fair enough we do have two notepads notepads drawing pads and a notepad and we're now just pulling out mugs but i love it i'm absolutely loving this box i mean for 20 quid is that it oh no no we've got some the zelda pin badges focus there we go so we've got some zelda pin badges so i'm giving those an up Oh my god, this. Born in the 80s. Yes, I was. Born in 1981, baby. Oh my gosh. What a fantastic keyring for me, though. Born in the 80s. Wow. Oh my gosh. It is a very, very... They should have said it's a retro gamers box. Because I think, uh, do you know what? No, knowing that you're going to get Mario and Zelda, um, I think it would uh, probably sell more boxes if you said this is going to be a retro box. Born, oh my God, born in the 80s with a Mario. That's amazing. That's an up. I uh, think now <laughs> it is. Right, so I'm going to pull this over here. So now we've got the doormat. This is great. Shoes off. That's fantastic. <laughs> I might put this by the front door because at the minute uh, we've got the uh, I am Groot and then in brackets it says welcome because we unbox that on the uh, the superhero box. But I think what I might do is before she gets home is swap this out so that she'll open the door. It's like, oh my God, not another one. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. What a fantastic valued box. It really is. You know, I'm so glad that I came across Cult Merch. Thank you, Alan, um, who pointed me in the right direction for the first video. And it's just been box after box after box after box for Cult Merch. It is fantastic. Well done. My, 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 my. I'm so... I'm. I've, Oh, and the keyring as well. Born in the 80s. Keyrings are worth a couple of quid as well, but there we are. Fantastic box once again. Really, really well done. Wow, wow, wow. I'm loving it. L loving it. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is uh, this has been my video. If you, if uh, yeah, yeah, comment. Tell me what you think of the box. Tell me what you think of the items. Absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. Mario, Zelda. Can't go wrong with Mario and Zelda. But there we are. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Oh, yeah, and Pac-Man. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Ta-da!